what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on Windows 11 again and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest build of Windows 11 which is 22.0.0.120. So this is the latest update that I have got on this Windows 11 Pro machine and I would say I have been noticing some changes here and there and some improvements. So let me show you today in this video what's new in Windows 11 22.0.0.120 build. The whole look of Windows has been changed and it is a much more colorful look I would say overall and overall experience everywhere is amazing here. Like the start menu is much more smoother right now earlier it used to glitch sometimes but now as you can see it looks much much smoother. And this is just a sticky note I have here you can add like many notes if you want to. So yeah just normal sticky notes and one thing that you will notice is changed is that like when you click on the other area like outside over here this window actually changes its colors sometimes as you can see right now it's grayed out because i have selected the desktop icons over here like i can click here as you can see now if i click on this window this will change its colors so yeah this is great that we have all these like gradient kind of look everywhere in the ui there are not much or like huge changes but there are little bit of changes let me actually show you in the menu if you right click this is how it will look like and of course we still have the refresh button right now so yeah the refresh button is here to stay and we have the usual things like the display settings the personalization and stuff then the open windows terminal and you don't have to click on shift or something or hold shift to actually get this windows terminal right now so that is great now one thing is that if you click on the show more options refresh or right click option the older kind of looking right click option is much more compact right now if you are noticing the selected area is much more compact and everything looks a little bit more like futuristic in my opinion so yeah it definitely takes less space if you have a smaller monitor or something if you are on a laptop or something it will look much much better with these smaller or compact design on the right click like if you click on show more as you can see it will give you this kind of compact looking window and let me show you here in if you right click on this pc icon as you can see you are still getting those compact kind of looking things and it will also appear in the file explorers right click and over here as you can see if i click on the show more options as you can see again it is again a compact kind of menu and all these icons are still here like the newer windows 11 icons they look awesome in my opinion and yeah everywhere you are getting to see new animations now one thing i have been noticing is the minimizing animation of the windows let me actually show you if you open any folder or this file explorer tool will work so yeah and in this folder let me actually minimize this just notice how is the animation so yeah double time jumps over there i would say as you can see so let me actually open this again and let me minimize it again so that you can see the animation and as you can see it does this particular animation now if i close the window and open this window normally and as you can see it does that animation once again so this definitely looks cool in my opinion and it doesn't happen to all the apps but it happens to this file explorer at least let me show you if i open the store as you can see the store opens fine and right now if i minimize it just by clicking on its icon and as you can see it closes like with a very cool animation but it doesn't do that double jump kind of thing but on the like folders it does this so it looks very cool in my opinion and if you're hovering around on a particular app now it has this gradient kind of look over here so on the bottom right we have the sound or wi-fi kind of things and this is how the wi-fi settings looks like of course and you can connect to any wi-fi whatever you want to so wi-fi is working fine for me with a dongle and nightlight is working fine but in the screen recording it won't show up so even if i turn it on it won't show up on the screen recording but yeah i can see it is actually working on the monitor and we have the other things like the hotspot and stuff and you can like increase or decrease the volume from right here and if you want to change your speaker output or something you can just click on this arrow and with that you can select your output device over here so yeah that's how you do it and let me actually show you if you click on this date right here this is how you can get the notifications and you can clear all the notifications from right here and this is how the calendar looks like over here or the date when you have it maximized but you can minimize it anytime just by clicking on this and yeah right now this is how it looks because i have minimized the date everywhere just notice the smoothness of the whole ui now we still have the widgets and they are working fine as you can see this is how my widgets panel look like 
start on this particular button if you right click you will get all these options like you can straight up go into the power options event viewer your system then the device manager and stuff then we have the network connections and we have the windows terminal computer management and the task manager the settings file explorer etc and also the run is there and this is how the round window appears still looks same i would say also the search is still there and there is our start menu and of course you can search for any particular app you can go into the settings or something you can lock your device from right here and you can power off or restart or like put the device to sleep or shut down so yeah all those options are there and you can edit and add these options like downloads file explorer i have added over here if you go here and right click and you can just personalize this list over here so from here you can enable the settings then you have the file explorer and all other options that you can enable so you can enable whatever you want to from right here and on this taskbar if you go to the far right you will get the desktop option of course in windows 10 it is present too but here it looks a little bit different if you're noticing this small little like bar over here so if you click on that it will show your desktop only so yeah if you're in uh, multiple windows i would say let's assume you have all these things open right here so if you click on the right on this taskbar like far right it will show only your desktop so that is great but this is the change that it shows this white little bar over here on the taskbar by the way i am running the windows 11 on this i5 7400 7 gen i5 pc over here if you don't know how to install it check out the cards or the description i'll have all the links in the description and once i close this particular app just notice the start menu animation right here so yeah that is how it looks and looks very cool when it does that now let me actually show you some shortcuts over here so on the keyboard i'm right now pressing alt tab and this is how it looks i'm still holding the alt so i'm just switching with the tab and if i switch to opera as you can see this is how the animations looks like whenever you're switching to different apps just like this now you can also hold the windows key and then press tab to get these windows kind of things and you can go to the desktop too if you want to and there you will get a clean kind of look so you, that's how you can switch to your desktops and you can also add multiple desktops over here my system is not that powerful because i don't have a separate gpu or something over here i have only the igpu recording everything so that is why you might be seeing a little bit of glitchiness but yeah that is how it is it will be a lot more smoother if your specs are good and talking about one more shortcut is that if you hit windows p if you're connecting a separate monitor you can extend your display or you can duplicate it or you can use just the second screen if you're on a laptop and you're connecting it to a different monitor or something this is how the options looks like in windows 10 it used to take one third of your screen from the right section so yeah right now it is a much more compact experience over here when you are hitting windows p as you can see this is how this screen extension menu looks like now one more thing is that if you go into the personalization there you will see all the themes are there and of course if you apply a theme which has these like it will say four images right here as you can see four images so if your theme has those four images so let me actually show you on the desktop over here if you right click you will get this next desktop background option and once you click on that just notice how seamless the animations are they look really awesome when it's changing its wallpapers and definitely looks very dope in my opinion if you have a really good monitor it will look amazing so windows 11 is pretty much getting a lot more interactive in my opinion and looks dope everywhere even when you are sitting on your desktop and the weather app and stuff looks like this and you can of course refresh it just from here it still looks same but everywhere you are getting these rounded corners if you are noticing on these corners right here in windows 10 it's a lot more like square ish but here it has this rounded kind of corners and of course you can pin a particular app whatever you open to taskbar from by just right clicking it and if you want to pin a separate app you have to just go to your all apps or something and from here let's assume if you want to pin this particular app then you can just click on pin to start or if you click on more you will get to pin to taskbar option again back in the file explorer it looks like this and if you go to your disk or something you can create a folder or something by just clicking on this new button and this is how it looks like and we have all these short option then we have the shorting by date name and type and more options you can have it on the size date created authors tags title and you can have this group by options 
and we have the view options too so if you want to have these large icons you can do that and we also have these undo and the compress to zip option then we have pin to quick access and other options like you can directly go into the properties from right here so definitely it is heading towards a really great direction but some things are still missing like when you are opening a folder let's assume you minimize that folder and let's assume you want to drag and drop it on that like from the taskbar but that you cannot simply do even now so that is how it is and the deleting options and stuff this is how it looks like if you shift delete this is how it will look and this section looks a little bit different the icons has a little bit of difference from windows 10 i guess this looks a lot better in my opinion so yeah all of these changes will make a lot more better windows 11 pro update whenever the official release happens thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet please share this video with your friends if you feel like this is Tito from KD and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.